Today we are opening the new OTS Tournament Pack 17. What's up guys, we're back with another video. Today we are opening 100 OTS Tournament Pack 17 in search for the ultimate rare Infinite Impermanence. So Infinite Impermanence was first printed in first edition Flames of Destruction, and that's what I have right now, the secret rare. It was reprinted a couple of times. It has always been either short printed or a secret rare or something like that, really hard to get. And now they have it as an ultimate rare, but the newest structure deck actually has it as a super rare, so it's a little bit more accessible there. However, this is probably going to be the most expensive version. So that's what we're trying to find in here. There's also an ultimate rare Utopia, as well as a Black Cluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. Let's hop right into this. This is going to be a longer video because we do have 100 packs. So let's see what we can pull. I'm not sure what else is in here besides the ultimate rares, but I think there are usually some pretty good reprints in these OTS packs. So let's see, Junk Synchron. We got a resinous in Resonance Insect. Oh, and I forgot the giveaway are these three Sphinxes. We pulled these out of the exclusive pack the other day. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite card from this set. I figure Impermanence will have a strong support here. Next up, let's get into the next one. We do have 100 packs, so this is going to be a little bit of a longer video. Not crazy long, I don't think, because there's only three packs, but we are going to go through them and see what we can pull. A little bit faster pace because there are only three cards per pack, and we'll just kind of try and see some decent cards, you know, maybe some reprints that I have not seen. Great Emperor Penguin, that's a funny reprint. Super rare, that's very nice. I'm wondering when they're going to stop calling it OTS Tournament Pack and, like, change the name because they're, there's Yazi, cool. Outstanding Dog Marin, that was one of Chelsea's favorite cards. They did all the other ones through one through eight, and here they're going to 17, so... I don't know if it's going to end up being OTS, you know, 75 or something crazy like that. But at this point, they've, they've stuck with it. Okay. Let's try and get that Imperm. Obviously, that's the one that I want the most. So getting two of those would be great. Usually, you get five Ultimate Rares in these in these boxes. Occasionally, you will get six, though. So we are looking for two Imperms. Three would be absolutely crazy. And then, of course... Um, I guess Utopia is cool. We do have the CR version of that that just came out, but for some reason they went ahead and reprinted it again as an ultimate rare. I guess because it is the Zexel card, you know, it's a, the, the cover card, the blue eyes of Zexel or whatever you want to say, but Scrap Raptor, Dark Magician. Scrap Raptor is, I think, a pretty good one. So I don't really know what to think about that. It's still a cool, uh, cool card. I'll probably keep the Utopia. The Black Luster Soldier, there's another Scrap Raptor. The Black Luster Soldier has also recently been reprinted as a Ghost Rare. It still doesn't have a low rarity printing. It has Secret Rare in one of the Battles of Legend. Then it has Ghost and Ultimate Rare. There's a Power Bond Super Rare, and that's pretty cool. So that's that was an interesting choice. I think a lot of people were not happy about that one because that card's not that good. It's very cool, but it's not that good. Ice Barrier Token. These tokens always do really well in terms of value, which is kind of funny. I guess because there's not too many of them in the tournament pack, and then they're specific to a certain, you know deck or something so you can only get them from one place so far we have not had an ultimate rare all super rare so in this set it's common supers and ultimates that's it that's how it is for OT all the ots all right slow start slow start let's keep it up let's see what we can pull junk synchron flawless perfection of the tinny okay let us see what we can do oh there it is infinite impermanence i almost didn't even notice that it was ultimate at first Okay, let's check the back, because usually these will have a lot of indents on the back. So, as you can see, you can see the... I said C a lot right there. There's a lot of the artwork pushing through the back. It's not as bad as OTS-16. If you guys remember that, the Cyber Dragon, you can see the entire artwork back there. But that is a very nice pull. I'm not sure what the value of this is right now. I'm sure it's fairly valuable, because the card's just really good. So, that's a very good start to our opening. I was saying something before that, and I can't remember what it was, but uh, we are getting close to 100,000, guys, and we are going to be doing some pretty cool stuff. We're doing a live stream before we get to 100 until we get to 100,000. That's the plan. And once we get to 100,000, you guys know we're opening the Retro Pack 2 booster box. There's a Cyber Dragon Nova. That's a good reprint. And then after the... And then we're also opening a Metal Raiders pack. We're opening... Let me think. There's something else. Oh, Retro Pack 1 Heavy Pack. Possibly another Retro Pack 2 mini box. We might have nine of those. So that'd be pretty cool. Maybe I'll actually I might do that in a separate video. So maybe not that one. Oh, Utopia. Nice. Ultimate rares. We've gotten two ultimate rares so far. We're hoping for that six ultimate rare box. That would be really cool. Utopia and Imperm. So now we're just missing the Black Cluster Soldier. I would not mind if we just got, you know, three Imperms and uh, one of the other two. That would be pretty nice. Okay. Even though I do like all three of the cards. I think they're all pretty cool. Cyber Dragon Nova. Very good. Alrighty. 
speaking of new sets, this is one of the new sets, but there are many, many new sets coming out soon. We have Burst of Destiny coming up. We have Synchro Storm coming up. Then later we have Battles of Legend. We have the Battles of Legend is December, I think. Or Brothers, sorry. Brothers of Legend. Then we have... Uh, in November, I think, is the Gold Series. So that's going to be really fun, opening Gold Series. And, of course, in February, we've got the, what is it called, Battles of Chaos or something like that? That is going to be really cool. It has Dark Magician and Blue Eye support. So as you, if you know me, that's about all you can ask for in a set. Both of those in one set should be pretty fun. I'm sure some people are going to be like, too much DM light, too much DM era support. But, it, guys, it's it's awesome. Just accept it. It's, it's awesome. So far, two ultimate rares. I figure Scrap Raptor is one of the best supers. I'm not sure about some of these other ones. I'm sure some of them are, because usually there are some pretty valuable super rares in these sets. Let us see what we can pull. Oh, right to it. Flawless Perfection of the Tinyi. Let's get that Imperm. I would love to have a play set to replace the secret rares. And I'll just keep the secret rares in the binder. Okay. On to the next one. False Perfection of the Tinyi. Let's see. Can we pull the last Ultimate Rare? Or can we pull a second Imperm? That would be great. We got the Basil Rose Shoot. Interesting. Basil Rose Shoot. You guys will have to let me know in the comments what the best cards in here are. Or your favorite card, etc. So that uh, I know what to look for for the you know all these cards that I have. Let's keep going. I will be checking the prices, of course, when I'm doing the editing. And I'll figure out... You know, I'll learn a little bit more there. Like, if something's expensive, okay, it's probably pretty good. But, uh, we, but you know, your comments are always helpful. Cyber Dragon Nova, another super rare. How many super rare princes does that have? Is that two or three now? There's a lot of prints of that card, actually. Most of them are low rarity. Scrap Raptor. I, I think Scrap Raptor started as... It was a common, right? And now it, it is a super rare. So, that's probably a nice upgrade. Because if you start as a common, it's nice to have a foil print later. Okay, just two ultimates so far. Flawless Perfection. And the two ultimates did come right next to each other. So, it's possible that will happen again. We will see. Utopia Ray V, nice. And the Basil Rose Shoot. So, there's some Utopia stuff in here. Pretty cool. Got Penguin Soldier. The Great Emperor Penguin. Only seen him twice. So, pretty rare Penguin you got there. Pretty rare Penguin. Alright, come on baby. Oh, Resonance Insect yet again. Where is that second Imperm? Let's go. Give it to us. Shaman of the Tenyi. Basil Rose Shoot. Very nice. Come on. Here we go. TG Wonder Magician. Black Luster Soldier. Soldier of Chaos. There is the third ultimate rare. We now have all three. So let's check these out. All three ultimate rares. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Honestly, these two look really, really cool. I mean, this one looks cool too, but that those do look very good. I mean, even though they're not the best reprints, since they do have a ton of prints, but... Well, not the Black Luster Soldiers, just not a good card, but... Utopia, I think, just has a lot of reprints. Junk Synchron, we got the Penguin Brave. Very nice, so we've gotten three... What did I just say? We've gotten three Ultimate Rares, so we are hoping to get at least... Well, obviously, at least two more. Three would be fantastic. We would like to get that Imperm for the deck. Let's go, we got Penguin Soldier, Scrap Raptor, very nice. Okay. Let us see. Junk Synchron. Great Emperor Penguin. Okay. Let's see. TG Wonder Magician and Vessel of Dragon Cycle. Come on. Second Imperm. We were hoping. Because last time in OTS 16, we did not get a Cyber Dragon. So that was kind of sad. We didn't get a Cyber Dragon. Unfortunately, it would have been nice to be able to open that. Uh, a second one at least because I remember I sold mine to Josh because he was looking for one So I don't have one right now. I don't have one, but I will get one eventually scrap Raptor very nice Still got a lot to go still a lot of hope for that second imperm Penguin soldier iceberry token. Yeah, my imperms will not be for sale because I will put them in my deck Which I have yet to actually use in real life cyber dragon Nova, but it is ready. It's ready to go I might actually throw in some of those new blue eyes cards though when they come out because they're pretty nice looking Resonance Insect. And also, I really like to make the Dark Magician deck. I think the Dark Magician deck looks pretty awesome. Scrap Raptor. And it looks fun, too. I Well, I've played with it, actually, a little bit. But only online. Not, obviously. I don't even have the deck, so I can't play with it in real life. 
but the Dark Magician new support is actually really good. I don't know how the new Blue Eyes, if it'll make it better or worse, because right now I think the Dark Magician is a lot better than the Blue Eyes, personally, from when I've played with it. But I'm not an expert, of course. But when I used it, I had a lot more success with the Dark Magician versus the Blue Eyes. I like the new uh, the new field spell that automatically set the Eternal Soul. It was pretty cool. That came in the, uh, the Mega Ten, so that was a pretty nice one. And then, of course, Eternal Soul and... Uh, Magician Souls and all that stuff. Those cards are insanely good. So, if Blue Eyes kind of had, you know, that, that would be a little bit better. But still not terrible, but definitely not a great deck. Okay, come on. Resonance Insect yet again. Where are our ultis? We've hit three. It's not bad. It's not bad. But we are looking for five to six. We got a V. Uh, Penguin Brave. I just noticed Penguin Soldier. There's a lot of penguins in here in general. Well, I said Penguin Soldier earlier, but then I put it together that there's also other penguins. You know, the, the Great Emperor Penguin and all that stuff. All right, we got the Outstanding Dog Mare. We got the Basil Rose Shoot. We have also have some pretty big openings coming up in this week. We have some cool stuff I'm going to open up. We got the Penguin. No, I mean, this is obviously cool too, but there's something pretty cool that some of you guys are sending in. And I'm pretty excited about opening them. And also... Very excited about that retro pack too, not gonna lie. I have a feeling we're gonna have some good luck out of that box because it's been sitting here for so long, just ready to be opened. I'm ready to finally open it up and pull something good. We got the Penguin Brave. Come on, let's get another Imperm. Two Imperm, I'm happy. Flawless Perfection of the Tinyi. Come on, baby. Junk Synchron. Ooh, a Utopia. Okay. I think I'd rather have two Utopia than Black Luster, though. So that's not bad. Don't do it. Don't do it to us again, please. Don't do it to us again. Last time it did it to us, we got two of the one we weren't really looking for. Even though the last one, it did have Forbidden Droplet, which was incredible. So it was actually a better card than Cyber Dragon in terms of value, I think. But we really wanted this Cyber Dragon. It was cooler. All right, Junk Synchron. Scrap Raptor. We have one to two more ultimates. Two if we have a good, uh, like a really good box, and then one if we have a regular box. So we're looking at probably one more. Make it imperm. Come on, baby. Cyber Dragon Nova. We'll take as many of those as we can get. You have Junk Synchron, Basil Rose Shoot. You got to believe. Believe in the heart of the cards here. We will pull some fire. By fire, I mean ultimate rare. Oh, Rux and Special. We are Rux and Specialing everything. Come on. Dark Samorg. Resonance Insect. We have Marin. Flawless Perfection. We have Utopian Aura. Vessels of the Dragon Cycle. Very nice. Then we have Painful Decision. Power Bond. All right. Getting a little nervous here. Not going to lie. We're getting down to the end. Can we pull that Imperm? Cyber Dragon Nova, I will take, I'll take those. That and Scrap Raptor, I think, are some of the best cards. I wonder if Power Bond holds any value. Penguin Brave. I feel like at this point it shouldn't, but I don't know there's a lot of reprints of it to, that I can think of off the top of my head. Painful Decision, Flawless Perfection of the Tinny. All right, we're probably down to the last 15 or so packs out of 100, so we've opened 85 packs here. We have Cyber Dragon Nova again. There's not a ton of Supers here, it seems like, because we're pulling a lot of the same stuff. Let's see, we got Power Bond yet again. And Zector Dragonflies in here. I think that's, you know, with all the, the bug support coming up. Dark Smorg. Black Basil, not Black Rose Shoot. Basil Rose Shoot. Alright, we have Resonance Insect. Come on. Last few to go here. We have the Dragonfly. Flawless Perfection of the Tenyi. I think we have. I think we only have one more ultimate rare based on these numbers. So, we gotta really hope for that imperm. Come on, second imperm. Here we go. Oh, we've got power bond. Very nice. Probably ten more packs. We're like ninety percent of the way through here. Can we pull the impermanence? The cyber dragon nova, Rux and special did again. Come on. Believe in the heart of the cards. I spare your token. We're at less than 10, I think. Gotta be less than 10 now. Come on, give it to us. Basil Rose Shoot. The nerves are kicking in. Give us, at least give us 
I mean, we only have four ultimates right now, so will we even get another one is the question. <laughs> I've never heard of one with four, but it could probably happen. The Great Emperor Penguin. We've got six more packs. Ah! Come on! Ah! <laughs> Three Utopia! That would have been amazing if it was Imperm. All right, it really wanted to give us our third Utopia. Are you kidding me right now? I guess it could be worse. It could be Black Luster Soldier. Definitely not the one we're looking for. Now we just have to hold out hope that there's a sixth. Probably not going to happen, but we just got to believe. Three Utopia in one box. Unreal. That could have been Imperm. A place set of Imperm in, in one thing. Okay, maybe we'll just have to make a Utopia deck. Maybe that's what it's telling us. Vessel. But now I have three ultimates, then I have the Collector Rare as well. So what do I even do? And then there's the Starlight. I guess it's the Astral. I guess technically not the Starlight. Two more packs. Here we go. Come on. Imperms. Let's go. Utopia has so many prints now that I think about it. Like, nice prints. Final pack of the opening. Whew. Put your luck in the comments. Here we go. We need it. We've got to get something here. Come on, Imperm. We got the we got the dog, Tiny Spirit. And a scrap raptor. Probably a pretty good super rare. Okay, okay. Alright, we didn't get all the Imperms we were looking for. We did at least get one, so that's pretty awesome. It's pretty fun opening these new OTS packs. Fortunately, not as good as 16, but still a pretty decent set overall. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more content. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Toe and Fosho, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, and Mimic Gecko. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel, and I will see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!